companies used Clinton fundraisers to lobby State Department. USA Today reached these conclusions by obtaining federal lobbying data from the Nonpartisan Center for Responsive Politics for 2009-2013, Clinton's tenure as Secretary of State. Reporters then compared the data with donor lists made public by the Clinton nonprofits and federal campaign financial records. Some of the companies appeared to have gotten what they wanted, others did not. The companies, which in several cases provided limited answers to detailed USA Today questions, said they had done nothing improper. The charity donations, though questioned by Clinton critics, were all legal. We have no record of Secretary Clinton meeting with these individuals as secretary regarding issues they were lobbying on at the time. The fact remains, Hillary Clinton never took action as Secretary of State because of donations to the Clinton Foundation, her campaign said. Among the donors to the Clinton Foundations who also used Clinton-connected lobbyists at the Department of State. Microsoft has given between $1 million and $5 million to the foundations, as the tech giant also lobbied for visa issues, protection of critical infrastructure and cybersecurity, software industry licensing and government procurement. Pfizer, one of the world's top biopharmaceutical companies, has also given between $1 million and $5 million to the foundations while lobbying for such issues as intellectual property rights overseas and issues related to medicines in Turkey and India. ExxonMobil, the global oil and energy company based in Texas, gave the foundations between $1 million and $5 million. The company lobbied the Department of State for issues involving hydraulic fracturing, popularly known as fracking, oil sands and other provisions. The Northeast Maglev, a Washington, DC-based company that advocates for high-speed, magnetic levitation rail service in the U.S., donated as much as $100,000 while lobbying the Department of State to help provide support for the issue. Mexico TV network Azteca and its affiliates donated as much as $375,000 while lobbying for U.S. Business Opportunities, an education initiative involving students from the U.S., Mexico and Latin America, and other causes. While the review did not find instances where companies received special favors, each example illustrates the unique challenge the Democratic presidential nominee would face in dealing with potential conflicts of interest if she were to win the White House. If elected, Clinton would be the first U.S. president to have had previous involvement with a foundation that raised millions of dollars tied to foreign interests and other donors, said Douglas Brinkley, a history professor at Rice University. Read more from the description. And don't forget to subscribe our channel.